A strange, small entity can be seen walking beside the uploader's house for a couple of seconds before eventually disappearing from view entirely. It's a penguin. The uploader writes that he personally thinks that it's a little kid in a costume wandering around. Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, Metro. Well, I love scary videos that will creep you out. Sir Spook, hi, Jules Mio. I have a feeling that once I upload this one, Sir Spook or one of the other two channels I look at will upload. I know I introduced before Slapped Ham, but I don't think it's or I don't know. I'm not I wasn't a fan of Slapped Ham. If you guys think that there actually is some great videos from Slapped Ham, send them my way. Go to my description on my Discord. There's a channel called Scary Reacts. Submit some Slapped Ham. If you think they're actually very good and scary, I'll look into it. With that being said, we're going to continue with the source spooks. I will be doing a marathon myself personally with Bizarre Bob's videos probably sometime soon. And we'll see how many videos I can pump out in one night. As in record back to back to back to back to back to back. I would definitely get to be needing coffee. I understand some people saw me yawning. That night, I reacted to five videos in one day. Back to back to back to back. It was two o'clock in the morning by the time I got to the last. I think the last channel I watched was Nuke. So I was tired. So I do apologize. I was yawning in the video. It's just I'm trying to give you guys as much content as I can. I like these scary videos, but there's just times where I just be tired. <laughs> Moving off of that. I just want to get to the video. I'm actually starting to prefer Sir Spook videos. There's a vibe about it that I actually like. Let's get into it. Let me scare videos that will creep you out. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 11 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for my more My man is about to hit a million subscribers, right, so go ahead and sub. Said, let's begin. Okay. I'm like deathly allergic to cats. Look at that skinwalker. Second face Did came out. It? The owner, Ippy, mentioned in the comments as well that there were no stairs behind the curtain and that the other cat is facing towards a different room, so it wasn't her. It can be it can be a reflection. To say that Lady, the white and black cat, went into a dark area of the staircase. If you guys have any sort of theory for this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. It can't be a reflection because if it was a reflection, it would be coming from the opposite way it would be the, the cat coming in not coming out then the other cat you can see in the bottom right it's already in the room not facing that direction so it's unless there's a very elaborate uncharted ass puzzle of like multiple mirrors in the house that could reflect multiple times onto the floor then yeah I don't think that's the case. This makes it a little bit more difficult to try to disprove. And this also makes it difficult for basically any type of explanation out there. Number 10. This next post but comes from a Burger Popular King. Paranormal Subreddit and was uploaded by a user known as Tom Tanker, who showcases some rather bizarre and unsettling footage that was filmed on security camera outside of his home late at night. Okay. In the video, we watch footage being filmed to the side of the uploader's house when suddenly the peace of the night is interrupted when this happens. The fucking penguin? A fairy penguin? A strange, small entity can be seen walking beside the uploader's house for a couple of seconds before eventually disappearing from view entirely. It's a penguin. The uploader writes that he personally thinks that it's a little kid in a costume wandering around, but his parents think that it could be some sort of an animal. However, 
He also mentions that the entity is shown running around on two legs yeah. and disappearing into thin air right at the end of the video, which is obviously something that animals are not able to do. To this day, that we know the mystery of. has not been solved and neither the uploader nor his parents have any other sort of explanation that they can think of. So I'm curious as to what you guys think this could be. The penguin. Do you believe that this is just a little kid wandering around late at night? Is this some sort of a bizarre animal that's running on two legs? Or do you think this is something much creepier such as a ghost or an unknown creature? Be sure to let me know your opinion in the comments. It's the penguin from Madagascar. It's one of them. They broke out of the Madagascar Zoo in the Bronx. And now they went to the suburbs. Try to prove me wrong. It's one of the penguins from Madagascar. Remember? Oh, never mind. I don't want to get shot. When working and or living on a farm, you expect to be surrounded by a ton of animals, but you surely would not expect to encounter something unexplainable. However, a TikTok user known as Gallo805 found himself in quite the scary situation while out on his farm one morning. The video that Gallo recorded was filmed at 5.55 in the morning okay. and shows something that nobody would ever want to see anywhere near them. Watch this. Unless it makes a left turn and starts booking it towards you. That could just be a person just wants to run in the fields. In the mist, far off in the distance, you can make out what some say appears to be some sort of a skinwalker moving around throughout the fields before the video eventually ends, leaving us all to wonder what exactly it is that we just saw. It's a human being. The figure in question appears to be completely dark and pretty lanky, which is quite freaky. A lot of people in the comments are comparing Gallo's situation to that of the movie Jeepers Creepers 2, where a terrifying creature wreaks havoc and goes Ooh. on a rampage in a farm-like area. Ooh, Jeepers Creepers, Whatever I don't fuck with that. Whatever entity turns out to be, let's just hope that Gallo is safe where he is, and that this eerie being doesn't try to put him in harm's way. Yeah, I don't fuck with Jeepers Creepers. A Reddit user known as TrainingBeat7600 posted video to the popular ghost subreddit that has been freaking people out ever since it got uploaded 5 months ago. The uploader explains that he recently moved into an apartment slash house that was built in 1912 after the old tenant suddenly left. He then goes on to say that he did some research and eventually he ended up doing a spirit box session and it kept saying fire. Fire, fire. As it turns out, the basement of the place is the ghost Alafa? Like, what the fuck? Is that a fucking Dominican ghost? Fuego, fuego, fire, fire, fuego, fuego, fire, fire. He's had an accidental fire around 1965. Here is the video that the uploader recorded one day in which he ended up capturing something truly fascinating. Okay, it's moving. The guitar is moving and swinging. It's fucking Mark. Mark. It's my hand. As you can see, a guitar that is hanging on the wall suddenly begins to move all by itself. I mean, I can believe you. Shock and awe of the You're not Mr. Fucking Fantastic. Sure do other than stand still. While it may not be the most exciting video out there, it definitely gives you the chills and leaves you to think about what you would do if you were to ever find yourself in a situation such as this one. I mean, I respect it because at least he's showing his hand, showing that he's not pressing the button or pulling a string. So I'm kind of being a hypocrite to myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just proven that he's not really fucking with the environment.
Are you in Call the of Duty? The following video was published to YouTube on November 25th, 2021 by a Russian channel in which the uploader is seen venturing out to some sort of a field in the middle of the night. Throughout the course of the eight and a half minute long video, the uploader slowly trudges his way through the deep snow, wandering around and presumably trying to find something. And although nothing of interest happens for a while, at around the six minute mark, something truly creepy happens. Okay. Take a look. Oh, oh. What the hell is that? There's two eyes. Close. Yeah, it's two different eyes. This one on the top left, one on the top right. Is that one singular eye? No, it's two eyes. That's a monkey. Is that a chimpanzee? Or a gorilla? Hiding in the trees is what appears to be some kind of unknown creature with bright glowing eyes with a piercing gaze that stares upon the camera for several long seconds. Amazingly, the uploader doesn't seem to be too terribly freaked out by this creature while filming it. it Managing looks like to a keep the camera relatively nice and steady while he films it in the trees. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I would have been able to stay nearly as calm as this guy was. And also, the question remains, what in the world is this creature? And what was it doing up in those trees? As a Did monkey. Did the uploader any harm? Or is this video simply a hoax? Is it the monkey or Let's Homer just hope Simpson? That if this YouTuber ever ventures out to this area in the future, that he won't have to worry about seeing whatever that thing is ever again. Do y'all have monkeys in Russia? I'm pretty sure this is a monkey or this is Homer Simpson. I'm fully convinced that this is a monkey. Like an ape. A man named Alex Shaw posted two videos to his TikTok account in April of 2024, in which he showcases some security camera videos that were filmed on his property that seemed to suggest that someone that tried to rob his house may have also been a time traveler. Let's back up though. In the first video, Alec explains that his security camera positioned outside his house shows the intruder wandering around his backyard, seeming to look around for something. At one point in the video, the strange man proceeds to enter Alec's shed. Alec then explains that he fast forwarded the footage and it appears as though the intruder never leaves the shed whatsoever. Alec even proceeded to go on the camera's microphone to try to talk to the man asking him why he's in his shed and what he wants with him, but doesn't get any response. It was at this point in which Alec called the police and they then showed up, as you can see on the footage. They look like the fake cops. The police wander around through the backyard and proceed to enter the shed, but the intruder is not there. In a second video that Alec posted, he shows footage that was filmed on a security camera system the next day. He says that he got a notification on his phone that there was somebody in his backyard. Then, out of nowhere, this guy can be seen leaving his shed, looking right at the camera as he walks by. The craziest part, however, is that the guy that leaves the shed looks almost identical to the guy that entered the shed in the previous video, just significantly older. A lot of people in the comments are suggesting that Alec installed a camera positioned somewhere hidden in the shed, which I think sounds like an excellent idea. If this video is indeed real, then it is one of the most baffling yet fascinating things I've seen. Uh, this person's a real estate agent. He's trying to promote his channel. Now you're talking about him. People are going to go to his channel. Guess what? Now people are going to be calling him, wanting him to work with him, trying to get things sold, whatever. This, this, this prosthetic makeup in this generation. So you have... Well, synthetic stuff you have all these different things you have fake hair weaves wigs all this kind of shit 
We have a whole movie called Angry Grandpa, which is Johnny Knoxville as an old man. If it's real, then fuck it, it's real. If it's not, the man is a marketing genius. Dolls possess an uncanny ability to straddle the boundary between life and inanimate objects, which often triggers an eerie sensation in many people. Their human-like features, such as glassy eyes that seem to follow your movements and frozen smiles that never waver, evoke nope. a sense of discomfort. Nope. This dolls could all go the to hell. Consciousness can be unsettling, as dolls inhabit a space where they appear almost alive, yet lack the warmth and soul of living beings. Yep. Their frozen expressions, frozen in time, often seem to hide secrets or harbor malevolent intentions. Yep. Amplifying the unease they provoke. Annabelle. Yet dolls are not supposed to be inherently creepy, although they sometimes are. they end up being exactly that. They as you're about 100 to see this are. next case, not all dolls are actually as innocent as we would hope them to be. I agree. This TikTok oh. user known as Lindu Handiary was simply trying to take some photos of the dolls that they own so that they can put them online and sell some of them off. But in doing so, they ended up getting some genuinely creepy footage of the dolls in action. The video, which is six and a half minutes in length, shows numerous shots of the seemingly normal dolls moving around and acting like they are haunted throughout the entire duration. Watch these clips. Justin, you good? Baby? Girl, you have a Chucky doll that moved. What do you guys make of these different clips? I'm very curious to hear what you guys think about dolls and whether or not you would ever want to own any. No. Personally, I bought a creepy doll a couple of years ago just to see if it was haunted, but luckily, nothing scary has happened yet. Also, let me know if you think these clips are real. Obviously, something like this certainly could be faked, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it was. Either way, I think most of us can agree that dolls are creepy as hell. Yep. You have a Chucky doll that moved multiple times and yet you still have it in the house. You having that doll means you have seen the movie. But yet you still keep Charles in your home. A Reddit user known as Everything's Fine uploaded a video to his account and ended up sharing it to the UFO subreddit. Everything is not fine. Where a lot of people are speculating on what he ended up capturing on camera. The uploader writes that his parents woke him up in the morning to show him what they saw outside. He says that his parents are the furthest thing from believers and oftentimes call him crazy for believing in aliens and UFOs. However, it seems as though this particular situation caused them to believe a bit more. And it's not hard to see why. Watch this. It's like electricity. It's like electricity. Is that? Hmm. 
Yeah, it's like electricity. Like, almost like Metal Gear Stealth. As you have seen the footage, which was filmed in the South Philadelphia, New Jersey region, a strange, unidentified aerial phenomena can be seen up above, much to the confusion of the folks on the ground. There is also another view of the light here. With the strong, swirling blue light, the videographer was able to film the unidentified flying object. There have been two more sightings of this kind in Scottsdale and Hawaii as well. Something else that's interesting to note is that four years ago, another similar UAP was recorded that looks like two snakes in the sky, located in New Jersey as well. UAP? Take a look at the breathtaking footage. Listen, the P, whatever UAP is like phenomena, phenomenal, whatever. It has to be big too. Look at that plane in the distance. Planes are big. Bigs? Yeah, planes are big. So imagine how big that ball of electricity is. And this is a lightning ball. Because everything this that's in common with these videos is it's cloudy. But lightning balls are supposed to be extremely rare. Like really, really rare. We then go back even further, as this next video that you're about to watch was filmed 10 years ago. The description of the video reads as follows. Quote, After arriving from work today, I proceeded to sit on my front porch here in East Los Angeles and proceeded to summon. A few minutes later, I noticed with the naked eye a white object next to the moon. I zoomed in with my camcorder and noticed it was a white Ibani UFO. This is the second White Ibani. Ibani? Ibani? My first Ibani was the orange tube one from last year. This video is 11 minutes long. I did not shorten this video as I would like everyone to know how these crafts move in many intelligent angles and also form different shapes. End quote. So what do you guys think about this interesting story? Do these videos make you more of a believer than before? Be sure to share your thoughts on this story in the comments below. How the fuck are these motherfuckers coming up with these names? Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I caught the motherfucking white Bonnie. Uh, you know that that orange zip zombie boop, and then the the gray swoist. I caught all of them on camera. I got a thirty minute video of me capturing the yellow moisture. Like, what what the fuck? How are you getting these names? White Ebony Ebony? Like what the fuck? Like, who approves these words? And if these are UAPs, UFOs, those ain't the real names. Like, I, I don't know. It's most likely probably the, these Southerners making these names of these fucking UFOs. Because White Ebony got that, got that pink swoist flying object. Okay, office space. This video was posted to TikTok by a man named Rayo, who filmed some security camera footage that was positioned in the hallway of his office building, which showcases something genuinely horrifying. Although the video initially appears to be rather uneventful, that all changes within just a couple of seconds when out of nowhere, this happens. Ah, oh, oh. What the hell? She's floating, Bob. Bob? That That's a Fermosa. That's the Pokemon Fermosa. Ah, oh, hell no. That shit just fucking. Did you see it? Sliding if you in. Look just carefully enough, you should be able to make out what appears to be a ghost floating around the building before eventually moving out of view. 
Return this Discovering way. ghosts haunting your office building would be quite the chilling revelation, sending shivers down your spine. The once mundane and familiar environment would then be turned into an eerie landscape where every shadow holds the potential for supernatural encounters. Tasks yeah, I that quit. once felt routine now become fraught with anxiety as the presence of the ghost looms over your every move, unseen but undeniably felt. I think most people would have a hard time returning to work if they found out their workplace was haunted. Very true. A TikTok user known as Paraworld posted the following video that was filmed on a nanny cam. Okay. The adorable footage shows a dad right. playing a game of hide and seek with his wife and child. However, instead of finding one of them, he ends up finding something much more unsettling. Take a look. That's why I want a big house, low key, high key, Mickey. There's nobody there. Yep, make it about yourself as, as always. Here, you can see the closet door Women. open by itself, and a disembodied voice can be heard saying the word hi. Yeah, it's like, like a kid. <laughs> the father is then shown on camera investigating the closet, but is unable to find the source of the voice, nor why the door opened all by itself. The video then ends abruptly, leaving us to wonder what happened next. This would surely be quite a traumatic experience for not only the father and mother here, but also for the child who will probably never want to play a game of hide and seek ever again in fear of this happening again. Unless the father is the greatest actor in the world. It's incident can ruin a child's perception of fun this way. But this video is just a stark reminder that our world that we live in is a strange one and isn't as carefree and easygoing as we would all like to think it is. And that was 11. You have this kind of reality of where people could edit in ways where it is perceived to be real. You have the security camera being very low. Typically cameras, you will see them like on the top corners of room to get like the best optimal security because with cameras being in the top right someone breaks in they say through the window or through the door or whatever try to hide it would be kind of harder for them to hide and you get a better vantage point when you have it up high in the top right corner top left corner at least in a corner high above in your room for the camera to be positioned there and the fact that you have half of the bed basically covering half of the door, essentially. Maybe the kid is literally just by the door, opens the door, hi, and then just continue to sit down like this, just on the floor, just crisscross applesauce up. I ain't gonna talk about kids being sauced up. I think I'm gonna drop it there about kids being sauced up. Yeah, for my career's sake. That could be explained in that kind of way. 
you can easily place one of your kids to just sit on the floor by the door and turn the knob, push the door. Hi. And that's it. You didn't see him stepping all the way into the closet. He just turned the light on, stick his head in, look left, right, up, down, and just spoke with his wife. Like, oh, I, I, whatever. Uh, you're stressed? Yeah. So that's my explanation for that video. With that being said, this has been 11 scary videos that would creep you out. Give me more source book videos. I actually like his kind of commentary and I like how some videos have a little bit more context. Some videos are more straight to the point. I like how we get older videos and either receive context we've never seen before or not include the same context as other content creators, which I think is pretty unique for a source book to do. On that note, I'll see you guys next week. Until next time, as always, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.